be wise. It is. Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Do you think I should dye my fins a different color? Uh, I think they're fine just the way they are. <laughs> about the best friend a fish could have. Ah, oh, thanks. There's Cousin Calico's ranch. I can't wait. Let's go, Freddy. With a name I can't say. His face, which was dark, had the eyes of a shark, and his bite, I hear tell, was much worse than his bark. That's because he was a trigger fish with jaws of steel. Now, I don't mind saying this made us all a little bit nervous, and we kept our distance from this worrisome stranger. So, when he asked for one of us simple folk to swim up close and give him a good scratch, you bet we all turned tail and swam for the hills. Seems the guy had a patch he couldn't quite scratch. He just wanted some help and there wasn't a catch. As he swam off, I wish that we hadn't all ditched, but no one dared get near. The itchy trigger fish. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Yeah. Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. 
And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. People who live here, if they know anything about those rustlers. it is I think oh <gasps> hi I'm Freddy fish and this is my best friend Luther I'm a er, Perry Winkle Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers! Well, I'll be stuffed in a jar full of dirt and swung round and round. <gasps> Miss Stella sure is pretty, don't you think? Yep. Are you sure you don't know anything about the rustlers? Now, it seems to me that there used to be a club which had meetings in the Sordaloon from time to time. Might check there. Yep. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, two, six. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be be important. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Fingered Phil, Doctor Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but. That's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Thank you. 
Scale Rider. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. <laughs> you feel guppy? Well, do ya? Youngsters, I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Thank you. What brings you youngsters to Briny Gulch, anyhow? We're visiting my cousin, Calico Catfish. Cal Catfish is your cousin? Outstanding! How is she these days? Well, her hogfish have been rustled. That's terrible! I guess that would explain why you were asking about rustlers. We're going to catch them and free the hogfish! That's good because rustling folks' hogfish just isn't right. What can I do for you kids? One spicy mango soda, please. You bet! Cute. Oops! Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Aww. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun.
Can you tell us more about those suspicious characters that you saw? Well, there were two of them. One a little taller than the other. And they kept mentioning a third fella, Mr. Bag or something like that. I know. <laughs> yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Tosso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. What are these plans? Oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants. I'll bet they look nice. Oh, they're very popular. Maybe sometime we could have a custom belt buckle made. Sure, but right now, we've got to do something about those rustlers. Did you see this picture? It's my son, oh. Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Have you seen my son's baby picture? Yes, he looks a lot like you. Except smaller. So all you sell here is belt buckles? Nothing else? That's why it's called Just Buckles. I also make custom belt buckles with initials on them. It says Just Buckles. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at High Tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. One, two, six. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One. One. Two. One. Two. We'll have this case solved in no time. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? No. If we punch in the combination right, the lock will open. Three. Four. Five. I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Hey, Freddy, 
Can we eat the snow now, like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Well? I can see why the rustlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. <laughs> it's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. <laughs> If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in Wrestlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an L on it and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Fish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. What kind of fish would take somebody else's hogfish yeah. anyway? I don't know, Luther. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about five feet by five feet ought to do it. What size wood did they say they needed? Five feet by five feet. All right. Right. Oh, there's a cowboy here. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Aeroslam special super steam. I'm an old recipe. Ready. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my 
I traded away my Monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't yeah. now. Harmonica, harmonica, to play you was to kiss you. But now all I have is this old bow tie. Harmonica, how I miss you. Why did you trade away your harmonica if you liked it so much? Well, I really wanted a bow tie back then. Now I trade back in a second. Hello? Are you the mailman? No, I'm Freddy Fish. Go away. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing a handle on the lid. That's why the lid won't shut. Are you E. Tippet? That's what it says on the mailbox, doesn't it? Now leave me be. I'm waiting for an important package. Oh no! It's missing. spinning on the propeller. Whoa, whoa, Nelly! What? Get me off here! Stop this crazy thing! Don't worry, we'll get you off of there. I'd be much obliged. Is your cousin going to teach us how to tie a lasso? Maybe. After we rescue the hogfish. Cool. Oh boy! See another purple sea urchin! Oh! Just when I was getting used to going that away! I think I heard something. Off of there. I'd be much obliged. You. I think that did something. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Well, pleased to meet you. I'm Sheriff Shrimp, the local lawman. I'd shake your fins, but as you can see, I'm a little tied up right now. Watch this, Freddy. I learned all about knots in the Fish Scouts. Um... Sheriff Zachariah Shrimp is in your debt. If there's ever anything you need, why, you just ask. Well, as a matter of fact, there are some wrestlers who... But I must be off. There's law breaking a foot somewhere. I can smell it. But... You there! No loitering! 
Oh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. Wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. This could come in handy. Freddy Fish, and oh, this is so my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. <laughs> no, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, oh God, we'll just so call sad. you you. Most folks do. It's addressed to E. Tippett. Hey, you! That's your wagon over there, right? Yep, it broke down, so I'm delivering the mail on foot. Oh. Takes a little longer that way, though. Snail mail. How long has it been since your wagon broke down? Little over two years. It looks like oh. you've gone about five feet since then. <sighs> yep, making pretty good time, pretty good time. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Do you just have that one delivery to make? Yep. After this one, it should be time for me to retire. We could deliver your package for you, if you like. Oh no, that's against the rules. I have to deliver it myself. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. Thank <laughs> you. 
should be useful. How did you do that? That's my special. Hey, Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. We should probably only take one piece. So I'll put this other one back. That's a nicer one. We should probably only take one piece. So I'll put this other one back. But that's still... the animation for this is so funny. You should be careful you don't get splinters. <laughs> what? Whoa. I know, right? Like, where is she putting it? <laughs> it says... Cabaret. Wow! You're bigger than, well, just about everybody, I guess. You should see my brother. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. Well, it's real nice to meet you both. My name is Fluke. What do you do around here, Fluke? I'm the town's cabaret. Well, that's a place to put on shows and things. Uh, where do you do that? Inside my mouth. Really? Sure! It's big enough! That's neat! Oh, drap! What is it? I've got something stuck in my teeth. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I hate it when that happens. I once got a whole marble stuck between my teeth. A marble? Well, how did you do that? It wasn't easy! Could you use some dental floss? Could I ever, but my flippers can't reach. Can you do it for me? Sure. Can I floss this lady's teeth? Sure, man. Fluke, could you use some dental floss? Could I ever, but my flippers can't reach. Can you do it for me? Sure. We'd like to see the cabaret. Is that okay? All right. And then that's where I Whoa. Oh, and this is when I get the hat! Come on, Luther! Let's try this! Yeah. How do people see out of these things? Oh, wait! There's an eye hole! I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. <laughs> they make smaller ones? you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah! We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. That sail is keeping the water from coming down here. 
Hey, that sail is keeping the water from coming down here. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. No, that it looks like there should be something attached to this crank. A square dance sounds like fun. If those workers ever finish the dance floor. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir. Oh, <clears throat> oh hi kids. Hello. Hey Slim, back when you had a harmonica, what were all your blues songs about? I used to mostly sing about not having a bow tie. These plans say they need a piece of wood, five feet by five feet. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. You remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure! In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks! Good evening, ma'am, sir. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, We'll be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh... That's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Wheel nuts! Get your wheel nuts here! We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, 
The nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans, and you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in... You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. What? Wanted Crazy Tooth Ruth by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Coral Scarin. Wanted Long Eye Pebblefield by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Kelp Brandon. Wanted Crooked Finn Alice by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Stagecoach Huggin. Wanted Black Hat Zelda by the Sheriff and the County for the discourteous offense of Tumbleweed Heaven. Some of these guys. Straight villain. Watch out for the jellyfish, Luther. They can sting you. Okay. Ouch! There must be a way to get by. I try to get into the wrestler's hideout.
amazing! You should see my brother! Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Oh no! Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it! Reflex! Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me! Do you think you can move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared! to the wagon. This nut isn't the right shape to fit in the wheel. We'll have to try a different one. I may not have mentioned Biloxi Premium's wheel- Could we exchange this nut for a different one? If the nut you bought doesn't work for you, simply bring it in and we'll exchange it absolutely free! That's great! Certainly! Here at Biloxi Premium, we're in the business of serving our customers. You can select- This one looks good. Thank you! No, thank you! Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. This one's gonna take longer than an hour. This is a intense storyline though. It's like a whole village. These wrestler outfits look nice. We've got a hat just like that. Our hat is a different color though. We still need the belt buckle and the bow tie. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. Aww. What's he got against glue? At last. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Tippet? Go away. I'm busy. What's there? 
there to do inside a mailbox? I'm hermiting. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Oh. Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. I will take it. Hermit in peace, man. Thank you. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I'd do the job for free if huh. you brought me the materials. Thank you, Nelson. That's very generous. Don't mention it. Here, can you make us a belt buckle out of this? Sure, just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with a round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct! It says, just... One of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hogfish? I'm sure the hogfish are there too. We could get inside and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? Oh, we have a picture. Oh, good. To slap the cuffs on Cousin Calico has always been really nice to me. I'm happy we're able to help her by finding the hogfish. I hope the hogfish are... Remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. At least it's a nice bow tie. Sure, but I'd trade it for a new harmonica in a second. <sighs> what is it, Slim? Oh, I was just thinking about how nice it was in the old days when I had a harmonica instead of this old bow tie. Let's hear more cabaret stories. 
Ocean Dance is coming next fall. I'm really excited. It says... Try to get over there. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. That's not gonna do- I wonder what this does. It looks like there should be something attached to this crank to turn it with. And I can't use my screwdriver? It's a screwdriver. I don't think I need that right now. We already used up our one. Maybe we should be moving along to our next job. Uh, let's just have a little more coffee first. Agreed. So much. It's the ink more than anything. <gasps> Tastes terrible. Mm. Yep. You boys remember that time that Apricot got his rusty old thinking machine we caught right in that ink bucket. Move for anything. <laughs> Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said, well, try it. Listen, I gotta go, customers. Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. <laughs> what can I do for you kids? One orange peel soda, please. You bet. Oops. Thanks anyway. That's okay. Mr. Fingers, could I learn to play the piano like that? Why, sure you could. You know, you two remind me of two of my own 17 children. Really? What are their names? Four and eleven. When you have 17 kids, it's much easier that way. You play the piano very well. Why, thank you, little lady. Do you play requests? Sure. What would you like to hear? Um, Pop Goes the Weasel? 
coming right up. One sweet potato soda, please. One soda on the house. Whoops! Thank you. Don't mention it. So this is what we need to look like wrestlers. We've got a hat just like that. Our hat is a different color, though. We still need the belt buckle and the bow tie. We've got to get some more stuff together for our rustler. Lucky thing Brian and Galt had an emergency rescue squad back then. Best not do it again now. Mother Hubbard? I remember that one from way back. That's part of my disguise. here while I try to get past the guard. Okay. Hold it! This is a rustler's only area. I can tell you're not a rustler. You're not wearing a 10-gallon hat. You don't have a big old rustler-style belt buckle. You don't have a fashionable bow tie like I have. So I can't let you pass by. I'll bet if we were wearing rustler costumes, we could fool that guard. Older than you? Will I be bigger than you too? Oh uh, well, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess.
It says free wood. It says it says free. We don't don't we, we don't need any more wood. Tell us some more things about the cabaret. Ocean dance is coming next fall. I'm r want to hear more cabaret stories. Sometimes Gil Barker gets up on stage and tells traveling salesman jokes. And sometimes they're even funny. But not usually. Yeah, I am. But I don't know what else to do in the game. I'm like stuck. <laughs> Mr. Tippet? I came with the office. Is hermiting anything like knitting? No. Now go away. this guy so far. to give others the benefit of the doubt. Does that include hogfish wrestlers? Anything besides wheel nuts and bubble gum? No, that's all. Say, you two aren't federal marshals, are you? <laughs> yes, sir, we've got it all. Bubble gum, wheel nuts, wheel nuts, and bubble gum. I don't think 
think I need that right now. That's part of my disguise. I don't need to wear that. You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! I wish there was some way we could stop you from holding your breath. You and me both? This isn't comfortable. This is turning out to be a pretty exciting vacation. You're a great friend, Freddy. You say you can't help holding your breath whenever anyone comes near? That's right! After we solve this case, any news about the hog fish? I'm more sure than ever that they've got them inside the Rusty Rustler. We could get in and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? Oh, we have a picture. Oh, good. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! You've already given me a piece for the back, so all I need is a letter to put on it. It says, just... Has anyone else been in here having belt buckles made? Nope. You two are the only ones who've been in here in quite a while. I'm thinking maybe I should advertise in the newspaper or something. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! You've already given me a piece for the back, so all I need is a letter to put on it. Have you always been a buckle maker? No, I used to be a calendar model. I was June in the Tropical Tool and Die calendar three years running. Since then, I've had lots of jobs.
waiting a grouper's age on a new ball of yarn. How long do you think it's been since last we had a mail delivery? Turn to this tomorrow morning because I clearly need to pass out. Wait. Why? <laughs> <laughs> 